Amongst other accolades and achievements, Michael is a certified trial attorney, a fellow in the American College of Trial Lawyers, an advocate member of the American Board of Trial Advocates, past president of the New Jersey Association for Justice, and a past president of the Melvin Bell Life Society. He's been a voice for victims. He's testified in Trenton on various issues impacting the citizenry of New Jersey. As a teacher, lecturer, he has participated in more than 35 seminars for the New Jersey Institute of Continuing Legal Education. He's developed programs, civil programs for civil trial attorneys, including spearheading the Medicine for Lawyers panels, which is somewhat of an interdisciplinary panel for civil trial lawyers. In 2012, he presented at the two-day Summer Civil Trial Advocacy Institute. <coughs> There's a quote on Michael's website. The greatest reward for a trial lawyer is to be able to advance the law and also make a positive difference in someone's life. Michael, there you are. <laughs> you have not only advanced the law and made significant differences in people's lives in the courtroom, but in the classroom as well. From podiums such as the one I'm speaking at right now, Appreciate that the lawyers who attended your seminars and who attend your lectures and seminars leave those programs as better lawyers, more knowledgeable, better equipped to represent their clients, and like you, certain to advance the law and make a positive difference in someone's life. Honorable judges, colleagues, friends, and family of Michael. It is my pleasure and honor to present Michael Magiano with the 2013 Alfred C. Clapp Award for Excellence in Continuing Legal Education. Changing dynamics of our society. 
We have typed down jurors who know that the only phone is a cell phone. We have jurors who grew up in the internet world. Uh, we have jurors who see the world very differently than some of us gray hair folk. And we have to understand the world that they have grown up in. And we have to understand the impact of technology, which is evolving, not by the day, but by the hour. And how does it interplay with the law? And so the Institute has opened up its doors to creativity, uh, for not just by lawyers like myself, but by great scientists who we've invited here to speak, by great physicians who have come on for medicine for lawyers. I had a, a fine expert here tonight who traveled long distance to uh, visit with us tonight, who, who will be helping me with our upcoming program on brain trauma, on bioengineering and biodynamics, and the ergonomics involved in safe cars and, and uh, safe workplaces. Uh, there was another fellow who uh, was here uh, on uh, other specialties. This is a fabulous, fabulous institute because it recognizes, most importantly, not just who we are as a society, but who we can become. And, and that's so important to set a standard for those who are all coming up the ranks, like my two sons. Uh, a standard for excellence that it's not just what we do for ourselves, but what we do for those many who may never come to know us. For those who we speak for, who seek the, the, uh, the protection of our laws, who seek to exercise their individual rights in courtrooms, who may not be able to articulate their needs and their rights, but for the ability to secure a good lawyer. What an awesome responsibility we have as advocates on both sides of the bar to speak for those who ask us to speak for them. There is no greater country in the world with all of our pockmarks, uh, asked my mom, than the United States of America, and is so very humbling to be here tonight to receive this award. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.